praise uh, for you alone are God and you are God all by yourself. Father, we just want to celebrate you. We just want to thank you. We just want to glorify you, Father, for you have brought us here for another year. And we have faith and we decree and we declare and we proclaim that we will have many more anniversaries. Hallelujah. For you are the King of Kings and you are the Lord of Lords and you lead us, Almighty oh God. Without you, we are nothing, Almighty oh God. We are here another year only by grace, Almighty oh God. We are here today, Almighty oh God, because you held our hands, Almighty oh God. You led us every step of the way from being in this the walls, bringing the carpets, bringing the AC, bringing the musicians, the musical instruments, the altar, everything, Almighty God. It is from you, Almighty God. We have so many testimonies today because you have brought us here today. It is only by your grace, Almighty God. And we are thankful. We are grateful, Almighty God, for your mercy for you delivering us to where we are today almighty God and we say that no weapon that has been formed against us shall ever prosper and every tongue that rises against us it is already condemned Father God, we cover the ministry. We cover the man of God. We cover the woman of God. We cover your people under your blood, almighty God. We pray that you saturate this place. You sprinkle it with your blood, almighty God. And cover each and every one of us, almighty God, with your powerful blood, almighty God. For we know, almighty God, that you can do all things, almighty God. You are our deliverer, almighty God. You are our strength, almighty God. You carry us through for another year, almighty God. And we declare that you will carry us every single step of the way, almighty God. Because you are our delivering God, almighty God. Father God, we open, we open, we call it open heavens. We call it open doors for this celebration almighty God for we could not do it by ourselves we only do it by you by your grace almighty God and we will forever praise you and we will forever thank you almighty God as the psalm says let everything that has breath praise you from the rising of the sun to its going down we praise you almighty God father we lift up your ministry we lift up your church this is your bride almighty God and we say, Father, we deliver it into your hands, almighty God. Because you are the God that is the all-powerful God. We know of your power, almighty God. Because you are the omnipotent, you are the omnipotent, powerful God. Father, we lose angels upon this place to ascend and descend on this place and cover your place. Cover us, Almighty God, and we bind the strong man and his good from operating against our ministry, operating against your people, from operating against our destinies, against our purpose, against your plans that you have for us. We come in agreement and say that you will fulfill our purpose. For you are our God and we trust you, Almighty God. We deliver. We deliver this session in your hands, Almighty God. And we say, thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Abba Father. And we set up this prayer in no other name, but the name of our Lord and our Savior, our brother, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. One more year. Can I hear it? Only by grace. Glory, Father, for the 
retreating, Lord, to be in your presence even one more time. For bringing us this far. For the one year that you brought us. And Lord, I know that you're going to bring us. We're going to have so many much more years, Father. So Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory in this time.
victory and your brothers this far, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Come on, can we just give him a shout of praise? Can we just lift up our hands and just shout to the Lord about how great he is? You are great, God. We worship you. We worship you tonight, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord.
I'm in danger. Violence fear. But we are overcomer. One year in Antigua, Christ Father's Deliverance Ministry. We are here to stay. Nothing can stop me because nothing but the Holy Ghost. I'm not 
Jesus carried this far by faith. This is the first night of the celebration. And I'm going to start giving God glory because without God, we would not be able to be here. And I'm going to start with a scripture that God has given to me while we were in the fasting. I've said it every night, but I'm going to preach on that tonight. And whatever the enemy has tried, tonight is one year. I am ready. Hear me very well. I am ready. I said, Mother, stone after more. Say, Mother, the great stone got to move. Hope you're the great stone, the stone of Babylon. Hope you're work on stone tonight. You got to move. As a witchcraft, the great stone has to move. Witchcraft, the great stone has got to move. I said, my God, the great stone. Yes, the stone of Babylon. My God, the great stone. music stretch room. That's how I work. I want to quickly go into, into the scripture because I'm, I'm getting ready to blast. This year it's a new year. Don't get distracted. I am not behind the camera, but I, I suspect something happened immediately to the boat one time. Because tonight is one year. But I come with a flaming sword in my hand. And I come to tear down and destroy every works and every plans of the enemy. Please, hold your seat. Please, I shall have to play with me. I want you to turn your Bible First Corinthians sixteen nine. Stop a little for me. Please start for the reading of the word. Everyone, read it. For a great door We are going to be talking about the adversaries. Please have a seat. I have been coming here to Antigua for a lot of years. Coming before I became a man of God. And when I became a man of God, the Lord began to bring me here again. I used to come to the Pentecostal there, uh, Pentecostal, SJPC. Many people know me from there. I used to come there every year to do deliverance. Year after year, I would have come there to uh, Jesus. People get delivered like water there. Phone off. 
please everyone can you turn off your phones and as the need begin to grow the Lord tell me that I should bring a branch of the ministry here I was in New York having a wonderful time and I already I run over the same kids never have any idea that I would have been in Antigua right now. So on my journey, I decided that if this is what the Lord wants for me, then I will bring the branch. I begin to scout out the land. I begin to pray for the nation. I begin to Enter. You know where they have them secret submachine gun coming in? And the government, nobody know. But I was coming in secretly, praying. Then when the Lord said to move, I said, okay. And I sent my lovely wife to come and scope the land out. So I set her here alone in Antigua. Only few people that was close to me would have known that my wife was here. And all my wife was doing is on her face before God. Praying, asking God if this is a right decision to be here. I also was in the U.S. on my face before God. And then the Lord said, go ahead. When the Lord said, go ahead, I made a few links down here. And I said, okay, I'll come down and do some stuff. I come down. I incorporate the ministry. It was very hard to get things done because you need poor members, you need a lot of stuff to do. Right ministry, not Bugoyaga ministry. We're talking about proper ministry. You need proper documentation. You, you need to set the thing so the thing can be legal. And, and I, have to, I have to say this. Because I, I want the church to understand where we are going. Because if you don't know where we are coming from, you will never know where we are going. And so I, I leave here and I fly back to New York. And I leave people in charge. I said, okay. You do this, you do that, you do that. I have different stuff to do in New York. I'm trying to get things done. I'm moving around up and down, trying to make sure that everything is in place. When I land back in Antigua, nothing done. I said, okay, no problem. Maybe the Lord wants me to work. So I get two old jeans pants. And two old shirts. So babes, get yourself ready. Put on some old clothes for purity. <laughs> we are going to hustle now. And we start walk the road. We walk the road up and down. To and from, up and down, lane to lane, street to street, up and down. Now I have someone that I leave here to do everything, but when I come back, nothing done. But I decided to jog along with them. At that time, the only person that was around me that is pulling the string as I reach is a minister. 
Minister Gracho. It's a prophet. This is a jeep. Drive. And many times, go weary. Money done. We have to send back America for money. Just me and my wife and my daughter. One day I was passing here and I look at the place upstairs and I see it empty. And I said, my God, babes, it look like that place empty. He said, I will find the owner. I pray that you have the photos. I want to show you something. And I go and find the man. When I find the man, I begin to negotiate. And when I when, when I I ask him the price and he tell me, I hold my head. I say, God, who can I get you here now? I tell the man that's a one one twelve hundred or one fifteen hundred. I tell him that's a eighteen or nine God, God Almighty. The man claim the money. But I said, God, if you bring me here, you will sustain me. At the time, I never knew that God was doing so much things behind the scene. And so I rent the place. I rent the place. I want, you to, I want to show you the place, look, if you can quickly put it up for me. I want to show you what this place was like when I got this place. And so, few of the people that was following me heard that I am here. And I begin to drive around and let them know that I'm here. My daughter Sandra, Minister. She was on board. I drive around by. One of my good friends. Oh, Jesus. And we stop by and shop and give me two ripe bananas and I'm in my Ah, Jesus, if I look up in the air, touch him again, the doctor. Touch him again, my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I'm here, you know. I said, the Lord has placed me here. He said, well, man of God, if the Lord has placed you here, go ahead. Always behind me. Drive by where I call his wife. And I said, Well, you know, you want to need musicians? I said, Boy, what a long time you know, play music, you know, Pastor. I went on them rusty. But if, if, if you said, we we'll do something, we we'll do something. And he jumped on board. Whole family jumped on board. At the time, I never even realized that. The Lord was setting up the lawyer for the ministry to come down from America to be here in Antigua. I'm talking about Miss Beverly. And the Lord began to put his stuff together. I want you to look at how the space was. Skip them quickly. So we can... Um, Move fast. This is how I get this place. What you see here now is class.
Everything was stripped down. Everything was rubbish. Everything. I work in this place like never before. Minister can tell you. Teacher can tell you. All type of stuff was in this place. I work. I sit. I stand. I run. Sun up to sundown. I lock myself in this place. And I said, if God bring me here, God will do it. At that time, there was adversaries that was around me that set in traps. I'm going to talk. Set in traps to catch me. <laughs> yes, sir, look at me. Look at me. My short pants are about wet. Working in this place. That's why I tell the church when you see something nice, don't take it for granted because you never see the back part of the work. You only see the good enjoy of the part. We are the AC and the nice chairs and you shout hallelujah. But you never know what it takes to bring it to the air. That's why I said the anointing of God is not cheap. They are not Lord Jesus. I lift up something to the shoulder. God. Dear in, dear out. And there are people that was around me. They come in the morning, they come in the evening, and I'm saying, all right, Pastor, know yourself. God, God Almighty. And I thought that I have help. But I never planned to stay here. I planned to do the ministry because it's a branch and I will fly back to New York. And when all of this is over and I open the church, I said, okay, I'm going to train some people and I'm going to put things in order and we are going to fly back to the U.S. My wife has her job to do. She's a medical doctor. We have assignments in the U.S. I have ministry. I have things to do. So my eyes was on two people. I was saying to myself, okay, these are the people that I'm going to train to put in this ministry and to go. So we have a revival. And the Lord has chosen minister yourself to be the worship leader. And the church begin to roll. The church begin to kick. People begin to hear about the church. And people begin to come. And these two people, oh Jesus, I will talk about. <laughs> these two people undermined the ministry. All when everybody sees pretty, I have to be fighting very hard. Witchcraft coming left, right, and center. Lord Jesus. And I sit right there, and everything that I said, they oppose it. I can open my mouth. And I keep myself quiet. I said, let me hold my peace and let the Lord fight my battle. Yeah. And one night I was there, I was talking about, oh, I love my wife. And the person got up and said, 
it is not the place for it. I should talk about my wife. <laughs> These are the same people that I tell to deliverance. Cast out demons. So I decide that I'm going to train everybody. I said, let me put on a training. I'm trying to show where this church is coming from. And while I put on the training, the people said that they don't want to train. I must just ordain them as pastors. And the fighting began. I have to run on the back seat. That's when I realized that the ministry is in serious trouble because these two people was a, 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 a trustee and, the, and the, the document. You don't know what the fight was. And at that time my back is against the wall and I'm coming to church and I'm preaching but I was fighting a battle. The adversary was after me. And so, after no draw for the legal aspect of it, and that's where I draw for this preference. And I sit down and I discuss the matter. I run over to my other lawyer, Daniel, and I said, listen to me. This is what is happening. The church has been fighting. And I need the church to stand. And everyone Sit the church and they fight <laughs> until one day they said to me, I need to have a meeting. I'm telling you, church. And I said, No problem. And me and my wife, we come and we have the meeting. And they said to me, We will get the selfie ticket online. I will bring it to you and you will ordain us as pastors. I said, not my license. And I sit down and I draft documents. <laughs> and I kick them off the board. And since that time, they go over their man. The mortal uh, Jesus over their man said, Left that mad man there. Because I ran my daddy at you. You have to put my things together and draw for proper people for the board. And today, we have a wonderful board. If the board members are here, please stand. Please stand, all board members. Directors of Christ for us, stand. Good. Come on, minister. Let us see you. Come out here. Come, minister. Come across. Every one of you. Stand at the church. See you all. Come, my dear. Come to the front. And I have to do this so you can see. These are the people, the five people that run the affairs of the church. Everything that happened. These are the people. These are the same people that control the disciplinary board. That when a member do something and it is out of hand, it come out of my hand and it going to their hand. I have nothing to do with it. If there's a pastor sit down, I sit down. If there's a pastor stand, I stand. Because I don't go against them. Now we have the, the other committee, which is the Give me, that's so much of them. The planning committee. Now, in the planning committee, we have one more <laughs> member to add. Rise, finish, and sister Tracy. <laughs> this is the planning committee that responds for all events in the church. 
anything to do with events or business or booking or whatever it may be, these are the people that are responsible. I'm showing you so that you can know from now who are the leaders. They make decisions. For we are on a mission. And the mission that we are on is not a mission to turn back. It's a mission to move forward. Okay, all can see it. Now, if you look at what is going on, you will realize that this ministry is not just a ministry that hook up around a corner. It is properly set. It is properly done for God to get his glory and not pastor. Pastor preached the word. He hear from God. But there is an administration part to the church that it must have people that is in charge. Pastor alone can't run it. If you see a pastor run a church alone, run. That's right, that's yeah. right, that's right. Amen. Run for your life. Amen. He must call it offering, run. Amen. He must call it tight, run. Amen. Not only that, she's, she's the treasurer of the church. Anything to do with money, you can't pass she. So she take. <laughs> Can I pass her? She want to know every cent spent. She want to know every money go. Call me a pastor, come here, I want to see you. Oh, this I go. A church that is going somewhere will meet upon adversaries. But if the prayer church is properly structured, it is going to beat the adversaries and move forward. Amen. It's a too many danger, toil and slave, but we already come. We're not turning back. We are moving forward. Hallelujah. Amen. He said there is a great door. It's open for Christ's followers deliverance ministry. But there are many adversaries. But I come to tell you that any adversary that is placed in Antigua to stop the church of the living God shall fall. Amen. Amen. Daniel was a man of prayer, you know. And three times he prayed. And then let him find himself. Lord Jesus, in a den of lion. But no lion could not touch him. Because the power of God shut the lion out. Look, man, when God is with you, no lion can bite you. No lion can eat you. No devil can conquer you. Because you're grounded and rooted in God. So when come here for? When come here for? Come here for come. Trouble we. Gassing we out. Driving we out of people. The cult is the me about me. Trucking me down. Taking all my vehicle. Oh God Almighty. Hey, then take all my vehicle picture and send it all over. Tell me. Say that man, we must get rid of him. But I come in the name of Jesus. I will never leave Antigua. People will be saved. People will be delivered. As a chair will be broken. People will set free because I am unstoppable in Christ. Rise for cause. And I know Mugoyaka will just come. If you hear on Sunday, we see. I will put up my father. I tried to get a video with him so that he can say hello to the church. My spiritual father, Bishop Errol Hall. If it was a cool thing, he would have been here tonight. I, am, I come from a good background. I was trained by a man of God. I was trained with discipline. We not just hurry, come up. And God has placed us for a purpose. 
I'm not dead in the close that I said that I'm a bull up in me a dump in Kankara. I come to tear down things. The Bible says, yeah, do I walk through the valley of the shadow? I understand that the valley is a shadow. Listen to me, when you're going through the valley of the shadow of death, you can't feel a shadow because shadow can't touch you. Amen. You know why the devil don't like you? You are in a body. And you are nobody. Lord Jesus, oh God Almighty, I am walking on the face of the earth. I am in a body. God make me put me in a body. But the devil has no body and he grudges me from my body. And he wants to come into my body. So he wants me to be committing sin all the time. So that he can get a body for use. But the blood of Jesus is against him. Rise up and shine, people. For the time has come. God is in charge. Rise up and shine and praise the Lord. This is 2021. I want the church begin to fight. Because the weapon of your warfare, they are not carnal, they are mighty true God. Do not pull it on my very strong wall. Get armed and dangerous. I don't come to walk with a puny, puny people. I come to raise up a radical people. I come to raise up a people of power. Hallelujah. Have a seat. Hallelujah. Come in down. In my time, as a little boy, we talking about it today. The devil understand that I was a man on a mission. So what happened? The devil take out my mother and take out my father. Because he knew that they used to raise me in church. I remember when I was a little boy going to church. They, when poem time come, I was the leading poem boy. I used to love to say poems. And they, they, they write a little thing for my shirt. Mark Junior Soldier. Lord God, we never knew all that time there. I was a junior in the army and don't know. I was radical and I never knew. It was like David was there and never knew that he was a king until when he gets anointed. Lord God, and even when they anoint him, he must be grown up still, but nobody could not change him. No matter what David got through, he still become the king. Amen. Amen. So the right hand the shirt, little junior soldier. I used to sing a song. I am a little junior soldier. I belong to the Christian band. And I mean to fight for Jesus till he call me home. I love Jesus, hallelujah. I love Jesus, yes I do. For me a little bit of why me I sing that. And until today I have that song in me. And I am a junior soldier still. I young as how I feel. And I will fight for Jesus until I die. I will never look back. I'm holding on to the cross of Jesus. And I'm holding on. And I'm fighting the good fight of faith. Amen, amen. This Christian walk is not easy. That's right. It's not an easy road. It's many termites. You have to go through. I have to sit down and talk to my wife. I said, Babes, I know he's a doctor. And I believe that you can help me doctor some people, don't you? Lord Jesus, it was so easy to turn things around because you're talking about salary. 18 and 19,000 US a month. Lord God Almighty, if you're a doctor, and when we look around and we have to look in my wife's face and say, turn away from it and follow me. <laughs> when my wife reached in Antigua, she just started coding another process to code all the machines in the hospital. And I pull her away to come and code the Bible for you. Amen. Sometimes you see someone is trying to push you to something and you sit down there and you listen. They put great sacrifice for you. Amen. They made great sacrifice for you. Amen. Do not take it for granted. It's very important. But you understand that? I'm a chaplain. 
mm -hmm. an ambassador of the UN and the Christian Council for Canada and America. If I have to carry on my rightful job, I think about money, I, I, I would be here. But I cancel to be here. Today I was driving and I was, I was, I was, I was telling one of my daughter. I said, I don't know why Jesus loved me. I don't know why. I tried to search myself and wonder why he loved me. And I asked myself, what do I love more than Jesus? And the only thing I could come up with is more Jesus. <laughs> For there is no one else I can love but Jesus. And if I want to love someone more Jesus, that's why I'm here. That's what, I, that's what I'm here for. To tell all of you to get saved, repent, be baptized, and serve God. But we are the lost in his death. Amen. Amen. That's right. Since this ministry is open, there are many demons has cast out at this altar. We have seen great manifestation of the Holy Ghost here. We don't have to ask if God is here in this house. We know by now that God is in this house. God is in this house. The Holy Ghost is here. Jesus is here. The Bible said the wheat and the tears shall grow together until they are harvest. Many come, many go. But the tears will stay. But the wheat will come and go. But we don't focus on the wheat. We focus on the tears. And as the wheat go and come, we nurture them. One day the wheat might make up the mind. But as we move, we move in the things of God. I start like this tonight because I want the church to know that you can start with one red banana. And you can sell that red banana for a dollar. And go and buy two. Two fifty cent banana. And go and sell them again for dollar dollar. It's two dollar that. Many times I sit in here and I said, I need help. I said, where would I go for help? I don't know nobody like that in Antigua to come and help me. Yeah. But I work very hard. Very, very hard. When I finish done, fix up. The lower place. I'm paid. I still want all these things to put in the ceiling. Time for church to open. That was another story, Minister. You remember? We have to shut the door again. Because there was no ceiling. But I decided. Never. You can't stop it, but if I see it, you want to stop me with you. You get you in trouble. But I will get sealing. Seal it, come. Many times I go warm. Come and send for money and money done. Come on, my looking at my wife's face. Boy, some hot tea with sugar. Lord Jesus, mix up the sugar in the water. Ah, Jesus. I will drink it. Purity drink some and then when she's done with it, she said, Mommy, it's said tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I sit back in the house and I say, I wonder if God really sent me here. <laughs> because things rough. Oh. Then just as the church open, Kobe step in. <laughs> oh Jesus, I know Mr. Alfred. <laughs> Man! We said that God make Kobe come and he went to be and the light bill and everything has come down every month. So don't get, don't get money. And at 
time is staying in our hotel over here. <laughs> Where you place here? Cadiz. Over two thousand dollars a month. <laughs> hey. Ah, oh, God. Oh, Jesus. And the country now open. Some man, the time as a people, no people. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> as my wife push out, she had to come in. <laughs> you really are looking around, Mr. Plain, I'm going And I'm going to find out all type of things to do, I'm going to play with purity to the time. I talk to my wife, tell me, I know what she's going to try to sleep. I wake up back, Lord God, because the place is even so small. You can't turn around as you turn around, you back up. Oh God Almighty. You think, you think to take on this mantle and to carry the mantle of God up your life, you think it's easy? It is a long way to travel and a mighty long way to go. But I hold on to God. Amen. I never give up. Many nights I'm on my face before God saying, God, show me the way. Show me the way, Lord, show me the way. And all when Kofi are gone, I said, yes, I could try to reach the little members that is there. I know that they need help, man. Even though we there are, we just a drink lemonade. But let me try to reach to them. Oh, Jesus, and some of them maybe have come down and say, Pastor, no call them Pastor, they find face, I drink some water. No <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know a lot of pastors get bad name. Bad name. Then they want to pray for the member. And we kind of call the member. The member say pastor no member. <laughs> and the man not know that because the man is on his face before God. Member Sister Jane Lord. Member Auntie Mary. Member Miss Brown. Oh, Miss Brown, I don't say pastor with you. <laughs> but you're still going through. I see him. Equipment there that you have dealing with the video. That's what we have in the, in, 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 in the, in the hotel. And every Tuesday night and Thursday night, me and my wife still sit down there. And we still do what we have to do. And we send out messages that say, everybody who come to this on Facebook. And we preach the undiluted word of God. Never feel. Sometimes as we don't preach, we can't look at us with anything in there. Not that thing. Uh, Jesus. You know, so when you're hungry, how you drink cold water, that's sweet. Many nights, why is it so much cold water? She said, I'm not going to tell her. I'm going to tell her. I need something to eat. Let me tell her something. To serve God is sacrifice. But if you want to take a land, you want to take a nation, there is a price to pay. And I said, God, Lord Jesus, sometimes we try to come by minister. Sometimes we try to buy my daughter. And you have to give Anna away, Anna is true. Yeah. Hear me very well. And we go around by him and say, Bless the Lord, my daughter, how are you? He said, Pastor, you come. He said, Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Nah, not me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor, well, Pastor, now I'm well up here. So I'm well up here, man. The prayer of the Lord, sister. Me and me have a pocket. <laughs> well, I'm blessed, but <laughs> I can't. <laughs> She said, Pastor, things are going on with you. Mr. said, God will provide it. You have been on my feet to one week. I understand? And she said, yes, Pastor. Mr. said, praise him again. I told him that praise God for Because she won't tell me what I'm going to tell her. Huh? She said, Pastor, I'm going to something you know. Mr. Rise up, praise the Lord. <laughs> because I know there's something you did for me. I say, Hallelujah, sister. You understand? No, sir. <laughs> well, it's been up. 
Oh, don't have to make too much. We walk down the road, we say, Lord Jesus. God, Beelze, say, Beelze. Yeah, what you want? God, God Almighty. She said, you get some. Say, praise the Lord, my wife. You want flour? You want rice? You want sugar? Lord Jesus, they're not the time in the man. Lord Jesus, thank the Lord for my daughter here. Oh, God Almighty. I tried by her and said, praise the Lord, sister. How is it here? She said, well, I'll bring it in a box. I said, praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to go on the deep side and go, Hallelujah. Look at she here. Hallelujah. Look at she here. Hallelujah. I said, God, you provide for me. Amen. Come out to me, nice big box. I mean, oh, yeah. He said, what the fuck? I said, you know what? I said, what do you want to do? I said, you know what? understand? Because when you are working for God, God will supply your needs. According to his riches and glory. Lord Jesus, when we done, we drive that country. You hear me very well. Because at those times, you know, if you want to wash the clothes over there in the machine, you have to have money. But you have to put money in there, you want money to buy food. Ah, Jesus. I said, Jesus, thank God for Minister Gertrude, which I food, food, then I should eat cheap. No, no, she died. Say, hey, how are you today, my sister? She said, praise the Lord, Pastor. Say, I'll wash me some clothes. <laughs> I'll wash them out. Lord Jesus, now I have to tell you the truth, because some of you think that we just come and we arrive and everything just come like that. But you don't understand that was a sacrifice. Amen. Every little paper I'm going to have to run, go do. Lord, sometimes I'm going to have to run. I think I have a too much. Eh? Every minute I want place. Do this. Do that. Do that. Do that. You do you know to work in a lawyer, a lawyer, chamber alone. You must have four or five hundred dollars for that son, that's it. How much more you? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, mighty God. But I thank God that he make a way. And today, we are one here. And we must give God glory for where we are. We have come this far by faith. Leaning on the Lord's side. Hallelujah. Trust in his word. And he never fail. Amen. I remember days I walking up and down looking musicians. Yes. Up and down are people yard. One man tell me. If me alone can't knock it, I'm not come church. I say, all right, me come check your back. Never come check him back. I say, I tell you I come for knock it, I come look God. Lord Jesus. And many times, that's why I say, when you see we are, we, 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 we have to say clap to musician, clap the keyboardists, clap them! I'm telling you, man of God. Clap them! We have to have, what is the son's name? Malik. 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 Clap Malik. Clap Bam. Where are you, Abraham? Clap Bam. They have made this thing possible and we cannot ignore them. You have to give honor where honor is true. It's very important that we understand this. Some of you start after COVID, you know, say, Lord, COVID, run away with some of them. Because COVID was water, we wash the people. But Lord of mercy, they're gone. Gone, gone, gone. But I thank God for what I hear. Because we are going somewhere together. We are reaching somewhere together. And the gates of hell shall stop it. We are going somewhere. Many times, I need things for the church. I need guitar. I need keyboard. I got to take my credit card and I run it to pie. Pie, pie. Credit card, I reach over 10 grand and a half US. I'm looking at my wife, and my wife, I look at me. I. <laughs> We don't know why they're going to go there. I want to swipe it too. Say, Jesus, 
I said, God, this is true. But I can tell you today that God has cleared the debt and his music is here. And we are celebrating. Christ for us is no longer in debt. We are debt free. The last thing that we worked for was these ACs, they were 8,000 and all. And I go there, right? There's a man that says he's not really into church business and God business. As I'm telling you, the wealth of the wicked Amen. is laid up for the righteous. Yeah. All you have to do is just get righteous. Lord Jesus, I walk out with <laughs> Jesus. And when Christmas, Christmas was coming, I said, I will never go into 2021 with no debt for this church. I am going to find the money and pay when I make it. Yes, I know. God will see me through. And I call me treasurer. Call me board together. And I said, board, I don't know how to do it. But I don't know how to go over there with that. So what I can do. Thank God for the church, right? Give her up, give her a good clap. Oh, Jesus. And she allowed me to, to draw out some money and go for the man. Lord oh, Jesus, I'm paying. Give her the receipt, come give her. And she love receipt, you see. Lord oh, Jesus. I don't know she love receipt, so. Lord oh, God Almighty, but I bring back the receipt. And did today. He's the anniversary of the church, and this church is debt free! Yeah. And we are moving forward! We are moving forward! We are just around the corner from the bus! And I'm buying a big way like a bus neither. I'm buying a nice big bus that carry all them one grandma, grandpa, brother Benji, and sister Mary. When they come, they must be able to get a seat in the bus and come to church and serve God. Amen. Amen. Hear me very well. I'm, and I'm on my way looking for the land. And the day I find it, look, man, God, I'm going to provide. I said, this year we shall purchase that land. We shall receive the land from Christ for us, deliverance ministry. And we shall start the plan and ready to build. We are not going to stay in any building for no three, four years. I'm paying rent. All that money can do something for the community. We are going to show you a difference. This church come to make a difference. We come to change things and put things straight. That's why we encourage everyone to pay your tithes and offering. Lord Jesus, I have to mix up everything here tonight. Because listen to me. Hear me very well. This is a church that has been record. So if something should run, and you come and say, Pastor, something wrong. Me now, I'm going to just listen to you. I'm going to run in my, in my office and say, Church around. And all the other people in the board, turn the page and say, You see, Sister Jane in him. <laughs> see how much shame up here. This is serious ministry. And if your name not there beside nothing, okay. that me all wasting time, you was not builder. So we can help you. I'm trying to teach you that if you're involved in something, put in to get out. Amen. There is one man that only visit this church now and then. But he's a part of my life. And hear me very well. I have to give honor where honor is true. Mommy, stand. Let me shake your hand. You have brought forth a wonderful boy child. You know you're going back on Friday. You know you're going back Friday. God bless you. And God keep you. Because sometimes you see some people sit down, you don't know how much they're behind you. You might see them and not know them. But they, they, they invest more than everybody in you. You hear me I tell you? And they look simple. But God is great. May God bless you and your family. May the good Lord carry you through. And bless you on your journey. You know me, I have a chat. I can't call you. You understand?
Я говорю, вот так вот два чая. Клопай! But I'm telling you what's pouring in. You have some people who are pouring in hundreds, thousands. And they don't look for nothing, they just love the Lord. And I'm telling you something. If you want to be on the train, fix up yourself. Because the train is going. The God of the Son are looking for people to work diligently. They are looking for people to work. The harvest is right and the labor guys are few. I am encouraging everyone. Put your mouth for your money. Many times I look at the drum. I look at the guitar. And I say, God, Lord, let me show you what I learn. I said, God, he will provide you. Up till today, we still need a guitar, man. But when I was coming through the airport with the guitar from my back, I feel proud with it. Yes. Like I'm the guitar player. <laughs> Jesus. And since I come, you're right here with me. I run back to the States, and I was coming down again. I had a little bit of sense in the middle of the country, from the back, probably coming in. Still not find nobody yet. Uh, stretch your hand towards them. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. bring it down, man. I bring, bring base, man. man. Say, so thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. For, these for these two people, whether man or woman, we thank you for them. In Jesus' name, they are coming. They are coming. Amen. And we need one more keyboard. I'm going to buy another one. I'm going to buy another keyboard. We need over 10,000 for the media department to set up everything. For what we are doing, it, it's a, it, we not everything must run proper. Because God don't forget no mediocre thing. God things must be well set. When people come and hear oh God music song, they must not stop dance man some Della Muma. We call it, we don't call it not Jamaica. That is skunk. <laughs> hear me very well. Because the house of the Lord must be the best. Amen. If I got some dance, I dance some big set. If I hear them, I'm really a church the fan. Ben Gelen, Ben Gelen, Ben Gelen, Ben Gelen. Shame and disgrace. The people of the world is working better off the more than the people of light. We have to come together and unite and build a kingdom of God. There is a big door in Antigua that is open for Christ followers, but there are many adversaries. No wonder Jesus says, Be strong in the Lord. Christ followers, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put it on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wives of the devil. Amen. We are going somewhere. Tonight is the first celebration. Tomorrow night we are moving on. Thursday night we are moving on. You see we don't start to change things there. Take down curtain and start put up new things. Because Friday I go all on white. Hey. You want to see your pastor in a dandy, dandy. Hey. Lord Jesus, I have a step with a pep in my step. Lord uh, Jesus, make sure the share I give me good food. Because I have taken off. The only fasting I do. So I get my God. Lord uh, Jesus, give me enough chicken, man, and curry goat. Let me enjoy myself. Amen?
but it's, it, it, is a, it is a family affair, a member's affair, and visitors a fear. Amen? And all the, the people that has been pouring in, and the, all from on the outside, they're coming in. We are here to, to encourage them and to receive them, and we all of us have a wonderful time on Friday. Amen. The tickets are on your dollar. Yes, and, and, and they are selling. They are selling. And we are looking for everyone to pour in into the ministry. Make sure you have a ticket. Make sure you be here on Friday evening at what time? 6 30. We go have a ball. Give me a little more oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. A little more oil in my lamp. I pray. A little more oil in my lamp. Keep me burning. Hey, keep me burning. Hey, I live I live to go high in my life, I pray. I live to go high in my life, keep me burning, keep me burning, till I break out of me. Tonight is a special night, and I want to take this time out to thank every one of you, and I want you to rise and clap yourself. I want you to rise. And clap yourself. Every one of you that is a member of Christ Father's Deliverance Ministry, and who are not a member who will soon become members, clap yourself for the wonderful job that you have done to make this church a success. Clap your hands! Clap yourself! Jealous. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, just tight. Uh, you're jealous, jealous. Take that. Uh, I'm that. Yeah, just tight. We all work hard to get like this thing. Come on, clap yourself again. Oh, so Jesus. You are self. Now, sister, um, sister Tracy was joined the ministry. And in a short period of time, she, she manifests so much. And she takes things and turns things around behind the scene. These are people that are working behind the scene where nobody knows. You understand? We have my daughter here. Lord Chef! Lord Jesus, every Sunday she cooks the nice, wonderful food. We can't forget them! We are very proud of them! Very, very proud of them! And she not only cooking, but she's taking her own money by the team of her cook. Let's out the business now, let's out everything. But we have to keep Anna where Anna is true. If Pastor wants to take the glory alone, run! We want to thank God for everyone. Even the little children. We want to thank God for them. Give the children them a round of applause. Give them one of them a round of applause. Clap them. Clap them. There's a great door is open. All the time, my wonderful, lovely wife, come to me out. I'm coming up with that, lovely wife, out of here. Come on, now, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes, I get up with me, yeah. I'm in all of my wife, I went to go me, 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 me go in a car and I go push my head in a wall. <laughs> yeah. The time it, everybody done some praise the Lord, I'm gone. Me alone of all, not me. <laughs> and do that. By the same must love your wife. Amen. I call Christ love the church. <laughs> love yourself. Lord God, come on, we're not in the morning, two, three, four, give yourself. Yes. I give myself a purity cup. Lord purity. Hallelujah, my daughter. Jesus. Tonight is the first night. And I want to ask the church to give a special offering. I can't tell you what to give, but I'm going to ask you to give a special offering. The special offering that I'm going to ask you to give you're going to throw your regular offering and the other special offering you're going to throw it into the bus so you throw it in this basket and we will throw it into the earth because I want to pray a special prayer tonight is the 19th and tonight is a special night. And as you pour in, the Lord is going to bless you. And all of you who have your first fruit seed, it is the right night to pour it in. And as you pour in, the Lord is going to bless you. Amen. Oh no. Hey. 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 Hallelujah! 
Hallelujah to God. He has broke up prison bars. And he has set the captive free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How are you asking? Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
I'm a dark as school. Break the foot. And all when she the past stick, she still a preach. And, and tonight, I first time, Mr. Shia dance, and tonight, give me some more that no one. I am ready. get the ticket to the back. Remember, if you don't have your t-shirt for tomorrow night and Thursday night, please get the t-shirt at the back. Amen. They are $50. Amen. Support the ministry as we move forward into 2021 in style. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. Amen.